What is up guys and welcome to the uh, LEGO Summer 2019 Catalog Look Through. Uh, so this is a bit of a controversial topic. Uh, it says Summer 2019 LEGO Catalog, but as uh, as some of you guys know, or at least I know, uh, most of these summer sets for uh, Harry Potter, City, etc., they are not coming out in America till July, so interesting of them to put out a catalog with pretty much no new sets, uh, but our front and center uh, thing is the new, uh, what is it, the Lunar Lander set, as well as advertising the Space Ride Rocket uh, freebie set for over $100 or more, uh, which I'm very excited about that set. Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, it's cool artwork, you know, you have the Lunar Lander, obviously, on, on the moon itself, you got some, uh, just kind of artwork, you got uh, the Apollo, the 50th anniversary of the Apollo uh, 13 mission, which is kind of crazy that it's been that long. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So, uh, right here, we have on the left, we are obviously advertising all this NASA stuff. So we have the Ideas Saturn, uh, or the Apollo Saturn V, sorry. Uh, but yeah, this is an exciting set. Uh, I mean, we've already, it's been on shelves for a long time. It's a very good uh, selling set. So I'm, I'm honestly not surprised they made another set of the same kind of genre, if you would say. Uh, retails for 120 bucks. I do kind of want to pick this up one day. My friend has it, and man, it's a beautiful set, and it is one of the best deals. I mean, if you th see that thing for a hundred bucks, it's just such a good deal because you. I mean, when you get it, you know, you think it's a pretty big set, but it's this huge set. It just keeps going forever and ever. Uh, but yeah, so then the Lunar Lander, ninety nine dollars, so pretty much a hundred bucks. Uh, I am considering it uh, because I am a pretty big NASA fan, sort of. You know. Uh, so, I mean, if I see this thing for 80, I'm, I might, you know, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, uh, right here we have the 20th anniversary Star Wars sets. So, uh, yeah, I already got this one. Uh, again, these are not brand new sets, which is kind of weird because we aren't getting sets till August or whatever, I think. Uh, yeah, so we have the Pod Racer. Maybe I'll pick that up. Uh, we have the ATRT. Not super interested over the top. Jumping for joy for that one. Then we have the Snow Speeder. I would really only want it for this Lando figure. Although I do not have a Snow Speeder, so maybe. Uh, but yeah, so we got the uh, Slave One here. I mean, I'm not interested because I already have the UCS one. If I didn't, then yeah, I'd probably be interested. It's got some amazing figures. You know, you got Boba Fett, Forlom, Zuckus, and that really good Han Solo. Uh, then we have some other Star Wars sets here. We have the Duel on Star Killer base, another cool little small, neat little play set. Uh, then you have the Attack Battle on Hoth Generator Attack or something like that. Uh, those sets don't interest me too much. The figures are pretty good, but other than that, that isn't really piquing my interest. Uh, then you have the Black Ace Tie Interceptor. Uh, some great mini figures. I kind of like the build. That's probably my, one of my favorite Resistance sets. Uh, then you have Major Von Reg's tie, another cool set, great minifigures. Uh, the Action Battle Echo Base Defense, uh, nothing nothing really catching my eye there, just kind of standard stuff for the Action Battle sets. Then you have the UCS Falcon, you have the Death Star, uh, which by the way with the Millennium Falcon, my friend got, and you know guys, he is my source of my boxes. Uh, so I do have the UCS Falcon box, just going to throw that out there. Uh, then we got a little ad for Legoland, buy one ticket, get one free, they're really trying to advertise that. Then we have uh, the Tantive 4 and Darth Vader's Castle. I didn't ever give you guys my thoughts on the Tantive 4, I really like it. I am thinking I might get it uh, at the end of the year or something as a big gift. It's just kind of on my list, I really like it, you know. It's a, I saw it at the Lego store, it's very long, you know, it's a lot longer than you would think. Uh, as far as, I mean, just, you know, what it looks like. Uh, Darth Vader's Castle, another great set. Uh, pretty good deal, I would say. But, I mean, 130 bucks is a little steep. You get more than you would think you do, though. Uh, then we have some Creator 3-in-1 sets. We have the Futuristic Flyer. Pretty cool set. Uh, you have the uh, Shuttle Transporter. Uh, I, I mean, as far as on this page, I'd probably have to go with the tr uh, Shuttle Transporter. Uh, you got some Overwatch sets. I already have that one. Uh, this one, just a little out of my, just kind of, I don't know, if it was super cheap, I'd probably buy it. But, you know, nothing. I'm not a big Overwatch guy. I just wanted to get one set because, you know, it was a new theme and all. Uh, then you have the uh, Creator Expert Modulars, uh, which are always pretty cool sets because, you know, they always catch my eye whenever they come out with new ones because they always got something going for them, and I really like it. The Downtown Diner, I would say, is probably uh, probably my favorite on this page just because it kind of pops out, you know. Uh, it really pops out, you know. I mean, the Assembly Square is, it's got a lot going on. I mean, it's a, it's one of the, it's the biggest on this page. Uh, the Corner Garage, pretty good. Uh... 
the Parisian restaurant, also pretty good, but I mean, I don't know, it's just kind of, it looks a little small for me, I mean, I mean, the, I'm not trying to roast it or anything, but the downtown diner, you know, it's got that teal and that pink, and that pink car, you know, they just kind of really catch my eye, I really like it, and then the corner garage, that's why it also catches my eye, because it's all dark orange, which is such an underrated Lego color. Uh, we have the uh, Creator Expert vehicles, so we have the uh, Volkswagen camper van, we have the Volkswagen Beetle, the Ford Mustang, and the London bus. Uh, as far as on this page, for which one I would want, I'd probably have to go with the London bus, but the Ford Mustang is pretty cool because it has those customizable parts, because you can lift it up, as well as like put a, you know, the different engines in and stuff, it's pretty cool. Uh, London bus just kind of, it's really cool, because you know, it's just all red and it's this huge model. Uh, I really like that. Uh, then we have some other kind of creator expert things. We have the Taj Mahal, which I, I really heard that they, it didn't sell well because they, they like unvaulted it from the Lego vault. Uh, as well as the Vestas wind turbine. I think that, I don't know how that sold. I mean, it's an interesting set. Uh, I don't think it's, I doubt it sold super well. The roller coaster, oh, $380. If that was $100, I'd buy it. But uh, that is a little too expensive, but the play features on that set, ugh, it's only a dream to get that one day. Uh, but the carousel, also a classic set. I really like it. It's just kind of iconic carousel, and it's pretty cool. Ooh, Lego Movie 2. So we have Benny Space Squad. I, or, I do already have that. Uh, so I got that down, the Ultra Kitty uh, versus Warrior Lucy. Um, it's pretty plain. I mean, I mean the, really, the only thing you're getting is that Lucy build, which, I mean... Is, I mean, it's a lot for, it's not that, I mean, it's not that much for 30 bucks, you know. Uh, but the Emmett's and Lucy's Escape a Buggy, uh, that goes for $50. Uh, it's kind of, a, I hate to say it, but it's kind of just a standard kind of build for, I mean, a buggy. You know, it's just kind of a generic city build almost. Ooh, the Welcome to Apocalypseburg set. Now, this set is amazing. $300. Um, it's uh, got insane details. I mean, it looks like a freaking Lego mock, you know. Uh, I mean, it is made by the designers, which they are way more skilled than any builder, so. Uh, but yeah, this is really cool set. It comes with a ton of minifigures. Uh, I like how this, it's, you know, based off the Statue of Liberty being destroyed, obviously. Uh, we got some more Lego Movie 2 sets. These uh, two sets, right, actually all of these are pretty new. Uh, not super new, but I mean, they're pretty new. Uh, you have the Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa. That is a tongue twister. Try saying that five times fast. Um... Uh, it's a, some very interesting colors, uh, the bright blue and the bright white and teal and the pink flamingo dude. Uh, probably not going to be getting that one. That is $70 for too many, too much, uh, not, I mean, not enough going on right there. Uh, then we have the Queen Whatever Wanabi's Not So Evil Space Palace. That is the longest Lego name ever. Uh, it retails for, how much is it? A hundred bucks. I'd say, you know, pretty good deal for a hundred bucks, but... Not really piquing my interest, uh, just, I don't know, it's not really a trick calling me. Uh, the Rex Celsior, retailing for 150 bucks. Now, I think this set is pretty cool. Uh, Ryan from Emmerdar Productions has referred to it as, like, the Infinity Gauntlet, like a Thanos fist, which, okay, I mean, that's interesting. I can see it. I would like it. Like, I think you could definitely kill somebody, somebody if you punched them with that. Uh, then the Emmett's Triple Decker Couch Mech, uh, that is a tongue twister as well. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I would, if I got it, uh, I'd probably transition it into like the standard triple decker, which is just kind of like another uh, alternate build there. Uh, but yeah, so probably on this page for which one I would get, it'd probably be the triple decker couch, maybe the Rex LCR, but the, you know, the Rex LCR is a little out of my price range. Uh, we got some interesting Technic stuff. Uh, I'm not really big into Technic, so we're just going to kind of skip this page. This, this is kind of cool. I do like their construction vehicles. They always uh, kind of pique my interest sometimes. Uh, then on this page, we have the kind of, uh, what do you call it? I mean, they title it realistic cars, but they're kind of the souped up, super important Technic builds. Uh, so you have the Bugatti Chiron, which retails for $350, one of the most complex Lego sets to put together. Uh, then you have the Porsche 911 RSR, uh, retailing for only $150, which I think is a pretty solid deal, honestly. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, I would maybe like to get one of these one day, just maybe... I don't know, it'd just be a nice challenge to try to build those because I've heard they are very challenging. Ooh, okay, so we have some uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe sets. So they're only advertising one Endgame set here. So as you guys remember from that haul a couple weeks ago, uh, I got that Infinity War set. So this set right here, the Hydro Man Attack, 
I will most likely be picking that up. Uh, I mean, pretty soon. I mean, I'm, it's not really. It depends on what I think of Spider-Man: Far From Home. I mean, I you know I think it's pretty good. So that that's on my bucket list. Uh, we got the Stark Jet and Drone Attack. Uh, I mean, that said, I don't know. I mean, it's a little overpriced for 70 bucks. Not super great minifigs. Uh, but then the Avengers Ultimate Quinjet, uh, 80 bucks. I mean, it's cool, but, you know, it wasn't really an endgame too much. So, yeah. Uh, the Molten Man Battle, that is probably my second favorite Far From Home set. It's just so cool. It literally looks like that thing was pulled out of the ground. Um, there are tons of reviews. The minifigures are great. That uh, stealth-suited Spider-Man is so dope. Uh, then we have all the rest of the, uh, uh, what is it, the Avengers Endgame sets. Uh, so we have the War Machine Buster, not an Endgame, by the way. We have the Iron Man Hall of Armor, not an Endgame, by the way. Avengers Compound Battle, sort of. Outriders Attack, Captain America, not an Endgame. <laughs> it's a little sad, but uh, they, Endgame was really locked down for spoilers, so I can get why they kind of had to come up with their own stuff. Uh, but I really, really want to get Hall of Armor. Uh, if there could just be a random Amazon deal that does $20 off, just please, I would do it uh, for $40. Uh, 60 is just a hard uh, uh, price to pay for that. Uh, but other than that, I mean, none of these builds are super crazy. The War Machine Buster, I would get it if it was in the movie, because it kind of inspired me to be like, oh yeah, it was in the movie, it was super cool, I'm going to get it now, but, you know, it wasn't in the movie at all, so it's not really kind of freaking me out. Uh, we got some Harry Potter sets, uh, not the new ones, guys, I know you thought it was summer, you know, like I said. Uh, so yeah, it's not the new sets, which is kind of dumb and kind of weird. Uh, but, so, they're advertising the old sets, which is probably not a great idea right before they're about to reveal some new sets. Uh, these sets are pretty cool. Uh, the Hogwarts Castle, obviously, $400 micro-scale, uh, just monstrosity of, of a build. Uh, super cool. All the little details, uh, from the Harry Potter movies, the little Easter eggs are super cool. I do like the Quidditch match. I do, 40 bucks is just kind of, I don't know, I think... Maybe if I if I see it super dirt cheap in like a couple months after it's been over a year that it's come out, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, then we have, ooh, the Statue of Liberty. This is the one accurately new sort of thing coming. Uh, and so it is the Lady Liberty. So uh, it's 10 bucks. Brickheads are still alive, guys. They are still alive, which is shocking. Uh, I did, There was a rumor going around that they are going to be around in 2020, which is kind of crazy. Uh, so we have some other, other advertisements here. We got like a new website. That's cool, I guess. Um, we got some more Legoland ads again. Then we have some Toy Story 4 sets, which I already did get Woody and RC. If you guys remember from that Walmart haul from a couple weeks ago. Uh, I probably won't be picking up any other the, any more of these. Uh, I do kind of like the Buzz Lightyear, but you know, if I, I can just pick them on, up on Bricklink if I need them terribly bad. Uh, we have some new city sets again, not advertising the new city space line, which is kind of funny. Uh, I would like the Burger Bar Rescue. It looks kind of cool. Uh, some friend sets. That is not really uh, attractive to me. We have some uh, architecture sets as well as idea sets. The Flintstones and the Steamboat Willie. Both pretty cool sets. Uh, maybe I'll get the Steamboat Willie, but $90 for the Steamboat Willie. That is a lot uh, to ask of me. Uh, but yeah, okay, ooh, on the back, the one sneaky set making it in here is the Upside Down, based off Stranger Things, as most of you guys know. This is a set that I am seriously considering, uh, picking up, just because it's so cool, and I really loved the show. It actually inspired me to watch the show as soon as they revealed the set. I watched the show, and I loved it. It really is an awesome show, and it is an awesome set as well. Uh, so yeah, this is probably, I probably will be picking this up. It's just such a cool set and such a cool build and everything. Uh, yeah, I mean, so, let's see. That's honestly gonna wrap it up for this video. I wanted to mention one thing, um, I don't know when this video will go up, but, uh, with the whole situation about, uh, Matt, uh, the Brickwiz, as well as Rich Boy J, uh, it is just kinda crazy how, um, even the most real world stuff like that, uh, has kind of penetrated the Lego community, especially Lego Star Wars, and just, it's so sad, and I really, uh, uh, honestly, if you guys, I'll try to leave a link in the description uh, to support their GoFundMes, because, I mean, if you guys can imagine, if you were in that scenario, uh, you would know, you know, you would feel so bad, I mean, it's just, 
insane how it, it can just happen to anybody you know if you just think they're you know it could happen to you so just be careful guys like seriously this is a warning to all of you out there be careful who you give your money to and be careful with your money and make sure you always have a backup plan because you can't even the people you know the best you cannot ensure that they are going to be that they are going to be trustworthy for the rest of your life you don't know that okay so just just take my word from the bricks and stuff man himself uh just, just be careful, guys. Just watch out, okay? And just, I uh, really would appreciate it if you guys maybe check out the GoFundMe or at least watch his video and give him some support, guys. Give him a follow. Give him a couple likes. Because uh, you guys, I mean, it, you know, like I already said, you guys would oh, want uh, people to do the same if you were in the same scenario. Uh, but anyway, that's going to wrap up today's video. Really hope you guys enjoyed this summer catalog look-through thingamajig, even though it wasn't actually summer. <laughs> so hopefully they release another catalog that actually has the summer sets, and I'll be able to go over that in a couple months, a couple weeks, whenever that comes out. Uh, but yeah, so as usual, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in, in the next Bricks and Stuff video. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.